So we're gonna be using ultramarine blue today to start off. Uh, we're gonna paint the background this nice, beautiful blue, mix a little bit of white in there. And you can use any blending brush that you want just to create this background. I'm gonna be using this one here. Uh, it's a number 50 large filbert brush, blending brush. And what I wanna do is get it a little bit wet first to begin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my white right away. And I'm just gonna start blending that all around with a little bit of water. This is gonna just make the canvas nice and slick and easy for blending. The canvas will take the paint a lot less effortlessly and then what I'll do is come in with my blue without washing my brush off, but just picking up a little bit more water. I'm gonna come all around and you can apply the paint any way that you want. This is just about creating a blurry backdrop for our focal point, which of course is the flower. So just see how easily and smooth the paint goes on when you prepped your canvas right. You can also um, apply gesso. I like to do one to two coats of acrylic gesso, let it dry before I begin adding paint. And I think I might just add a little bit more just to create some more depth here along this left side. I'm gonna take one of my dry, soft mop brushes here, and all I wanna do with this is just graze that canvas and that paint very gently and lightly, just to sort of blur up and blend out any thick brush strokes and streaks that we have. I don't mind a little bit of texture back there, but remember the more you blur your background, the more depth you'll have and the more your focal point will really show up all those details. So just a very, very gentle blending with a soft, soft brush like this. And it's kind of nice to create these little soft circles too that also helps get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that, wash my brush off, and I'm gonna dry this off completely. All right, so this is nice and dry and ready for our next stage. And we're gonna start coming in freehand with our sunflower. So the colors that we're gonna be using today for the sunflower are Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue by Windsor & Newton, and I've also got Neon Orange or Luminous Orange by Holbein. We're also going to be using Burnt Sienna and Mars Black. So what we're gonna do is start with the petals on the, the left side or the top first, and then we're gonna come in with the big uh, center of our flower, dry that off, and then come in with the rest of the petals on the bottom because they come, they start kind of overlapping onto the center part of the flower, so we have to paint it in order of uh, layers, if that makes sense, guys. It'll make sense as we're painting along here, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna use my cat's tongue brush. Now this is a really awesome brush to use for creating flower petals, especially the ones that we're working on today. And this one is a number eight. All right, so what we wanna do first is get your brush a little bit wet. Of course, we wanna make sure this is all dry. We dried it off with our hair dryer first. And I'm gonna just take some white 
and some cadmium yellow. Mix the two together, get a good amount on my brush, scoop that up there. And so it's going to be an angle like this. So we'll just do an arch like this. This will be the center of our flower. And then we're just going to start. You can either go from the outside and push, use the tip for the skinny pointy ends of the petal and push. Or you can push, kind of wiggle and go out like that. I think I kind of like doing it like that more. And we're just going to layer and layer and layer. Now, if we come in with some orange and some yellow, maybe start from here. We can start to get that layered effect. So the idea is to kind of mix the colors around and alternate so you're always getting a bit of different color, different yellows. and overlapping. So the end of my brush, push, wiggle, and let off. And then we'll start working on the ones that come down here. I'm gonna use a little bit more orange and yellow for this. And just have fun with, with your layering. You can make as many petals as you want. And I'm going to come in with the center of the flower now, and I'm going to paint it black first. Okay, and to paint the inside of the flower, I'm going to use my number nine filbert brush. Take my black. I'm going to push up. Wipe off the excess if I pick up any of those light colors. I'm going to slightly come over where I started those petals to push this out. We're going to come down to here. to make some green here for our stem. So if I take a little bit of my cadmium yellow with some black, get sort of a green color there, a little bit more. And we'll have, you know, most of the stem is gonna be hidden, right? With petals, but we'll have a little something in here. A little bit more yellow. 
I'm going to take a bit of my white, tap it into those colors, and then I'm just going to, to give that sort of a fuzzy texture that the, the stems have, and a little bit of a highlight there. Take just a little bit more of my yellow and my white. And then do that tap, little taps. And go right back into my black and go on the outside of it now to shadow. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Tap, tap, tap with my brush sort of flat like this. And then right kind of here, it'll be a little bit hidden up. We're going to have a little bit of the underneath part of the, the green part of the base of the flower there. Some little leaves. Okay, so we'll dry this off. All right, I'm just gonna, cause it's a little bit thick right around here on the outside of the circle. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and add a little bit of fuzzy little hairs on this stem. And I'm gonna just use my filbert brush again for that. I'll take a little bit of white and that light greeny yellow. Tap out the excess. You can turn your brush this way too, just so that you don't worry about going over too much. Kind of just gives it those little, little bit of highlight that we want. And then a little bit of a little bit of white on here. There's a tiny bit of yellow in there, so my white is sort of tinted. Okay, and I'll leave it like that. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my burnt sienna and add all the little dots. And to do that quickly, instead of doing it one by one, I've seen a few different approaches to painting uh, sunflowers. Some people take a bunch of Q-tips, put them all together, and tap all at once with all the q-tips to get multiple little dots. Um, I just really love using the oval brush and if you guys happen to have one of these or you could also use a round mop brush. So all I'm going to do is just take some of this burnt sienna, tap it out so I get a nice fluffy separation of my bristles. And I'm going to just start tap, lift up, tap, lift up. And we'll just tap all the way around. And then what I'm going to do is leave the center of the sunflower black. So it's going to be black in there. And then I've got, so I've got my first layer of the burnt sienna. Then I'm going to pull into my white, yellow, a little bit of orange mixture there. Tap that out again. Then we'll add a little highlight. So soft little taps, push and tap. And then for some brighter ones.
So we just have a variation of different colors in there. I take a little round brush here, and this is a number two. I'm going to scoop up some of my yellow, burnt sienna, white. Get a little bit on the tip to work with. And you can create a few little seeds this way too. I'm going to take a little bit of my white, black, and yellow and add a little bit of a, so just making that greenish color. I'm just going to have a little bit of a hint of that color so it's not just solid black in there. And just finished off right in here with a little bit of black. I'm going to come right inside here because we're going to have some shadows. So I just want to make sure that I have that in there. before I come in with my flower petals. Well, this is still a little bit tacky and wet here, so I'm going to focus on adding some more depth to these ones up here on the top. And I'm gonna take my uh, cat's tongue brush again, a little bit of my orange, and I'm gonna take a little bit of burnt sienna this time. So I wanna add some shadows. So I just need that color but to tone it a little bit so right in here I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush to help that flow more yellow in with that as well. Sort of almost makes like a bit of a yellow ochre color. So the idea is to leave parts of your petals nice and bright. That way we're going to build up our highlights and really feel that sunshine on our sunflowers. I'm going to go into my white and that cadmium yellow. I'm going to make some of these a little bit bigger.
and just overlap that one right there. All right, so now I'm going to come in, grab all three, white, yellow, and orange, and I'm going to start to overlap. Now I'm going to start my petals on the center. And they start to go down. So I kind of twist and pull like that. I picked up a little bit of black there, but that's okay. It's not too much. Plus it'll help get some mid tones in there. Push, wiggle. Pick those colors up again. And a little bit more orange and yellow here. Some push, wiggle, and then let off and sort of twist. Then we'll go into our yellow and white and do a thin layer over top. Push up, wiggle, twist, and let off. Overlap this one, push, wiggle, and twist off. And this one, start it up here, push, wiggle, curve, and twist off. extra one in right in here. So I'm going to come down here and add some green, maybe make a few other little stems off in the distance. So my cadmium yellow, a little bit of black. Just come in here, just tap and pull, making these really, really low to make them look far away. a little bit more black there. We've got a little patch of sunflowers down here, or a little field of sunflowers. Add a little bit more black right in here now, and a little bit here. Start to create a little bit more shadow and depth around these petals. What a difference that makes, just that little hint of black in there, hey? And then just do light little taps. Push, tap, push and tap.
So I'm still gonna use my cat's tongue brush here for this small, these small sunflowers. I'm just gonna use the tip of it. So a little bit of white, yellow, orange, and just light little pulse like that. So easy, guys. And we'll just layer. Picking up a little bit of that green at times, but that's okay. These are supposed to be a little bit more subdued and in the background or in the distance a little bit. Our focal point is this one here. I want to um, thank my patrons for all the requests. This is another patron request. And uh, I haven't painted a lot of sunflowers, so this is really fun. And I just want to thank you guys for always giving me new ideas and uh, helping me stay motivated myself as an artist. And a little bit of black in here. And just tap some of the centers here. Just adding a little bit more color to some of these. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this off again and bring in a little bit more shadow and highlights to the petals. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my orange and my neon orange with a little bit of black. Mark out the excess paint there. And pick a few spots to add a few little lines for some more shadows. And where this twists over, I'm going to come right in here. A little bit more orange with that black. Make that darker in there. right inside here pull and twist this gives your petals different shapes and like some of them are kind of folding it sets them on you know different angles Just pick a few spots on each petal to add some light and shadow. So I've got a few other colors, other neons that I'm going to incorporate now. I've got neon yellow cool and I've got neon yellow warm. Okay, so I'm going to use the same brush. Here's our neon yellow warm and our neon yellow cool. So I'm going to take my neon yellow Cool first with my white and I'm going to overlap where I want to have my brightest highlights really make it look like the Sun is shining down on these sunflowers
Okay, then I'm going to go into my neon yellow warm. I can take both of those colors and use them now. Gonna mix my neon orange with my neon yellow warm. Kind of just graze over part of the darker spots. And I'm gonna just wash the excess paint out of my brush, but I'm gonna go back into these colors here, get it on the tip of my brush. And because you can see how this has started to fade. So I'll just bring a little bit back here. A little bit of orange. So now I'm going to take a little bit of lemon yellow. I'm having fun with all my yellows today. So lemon yellow. It's just a little bit brighter than the cadmium, I find. So just layer over a few. a little bit down here as well. This will dry a little bit darker, but it's going to leave us with a few different areas of green tones for our, our leaves and some stems. Just going to graze over that a bit. Make a little bit of that green color again. I'm going to just tap for the indication of a few little green seeds there in the middle. Just using the very tip of my little cat's tongue brush here. go back over to my round brush and I'm going to finish this painting off just by adding a few more dots here for the seeds. So I will take a little bit of my white, anything that's going to really show up, a little bit of the burnt sienna, peachy color, I'm going to twist and roll my brush and then get a little scoop on the end of my brush to work with.
back into my black. Come in with a little bit of black right in here. I'm going to start to add a little bit of a shadow. Just watering down a little bit of that black yellow color. So it's sort of like an army green, but really transparent. Just going to pick a few spots here to add some of this sort of a muddy color for some shadows. go into my orange and add a little bit of that into these little dots and dabs. And then finish this off with a little bit more white and yellow. bit more black in there for some more shadow. Okay, so I'm going to call this one done, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and uh, you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye, everybody.